I'll give you two a couple of minutes alone. That's it. You, you all right? I felt better. They book you? Yeah, they've already arraigned me. They don't waste much time around this place. Yeah. You know, the best way to a speedy trial is to shoot a cop. They really get down to business. Yeah. Now, whoever no. set you up wasn't taking any chances. It smells like Damon to me. Don't worry, okay? I'll get you the best lawyer around. You remember Carlson, the guy that defended me? Listen, Duke, he knows every trick in the book. He'll poke so many holes in his phony setup. No. You it wasn't a setup. What are you talking about? It's gotta be. You didn't shoot Chief Ramsey. Yes, I did. I did, man. Well, maybe you had a reason. You called enough build an airtight defense for you. No, I don't want any part of a mob lawyer. Then we'll hire someone else. No, it was self-defense. That's all the case I need. Self-defense? Are you saying Ramsey attacked you? He tried to kill me. Why? Bert Ramsey is Mr. B. I overheard him on the payphone. He was ordering a hit on me at the time. I can't believe it. How do you think I felt? How do you figure I felt? I had just spilled out my whole story to the man. I thought I was confessing to the co-chief of police. I didn't realize I was talking to the head of the organization. I had just told him that Anna and Robin's lives had been threatened. He pulled a gun on you? Yeah, he pulled a gun on me. Then we... We struggled. The next thing I knew, he was he was lying down on the ground. I was standing over him with the... I was standing over him with a gun in my hand. Whoever would have guessed that Mr. B was a cop. And not just any cop, but the co-chief. Yeah, but now we know how Damon got hold of that first package of evidence that I sent over to Bert Ramsey. Mr. B gave it to him himself. Oh, man, what a mess. And people outside this organization don't know Ramsey's connection with the mob, Duke. They'll think you shot an honest cop. How the hell are you going to play that? I'm going to play it straight up. I'm not going to fight this. You mean you're willing to do time for breaking a crime ring? Well, I hope it doesn't come to that. But if it does come to that, then so be it. When I saw the look in Anna's face when I told her that I had shot Bert Ramsey, it was more punishment than going to prison could ever be. You think Anna and the other people will believe you? They have to believe me. I don't give, I don't, I don't give a damn about going to jail. It's not important at the moment. Duke. What? What do you want me to do? Tell me. I want you to get out of town now, and I don't no, want no, you... No, yes, no, no, you no. cannot help me here. Don't, please, I'm not going to leave you to take the heat yourself. We'll find a way. We will find a way. All right, that's it. You're going to have to leave. Chief Devane is on her way up to interrogate Mr. Lavery. Right, right, I'll be right there. Listen to me, kid. What? Damon said... If you talk, you, Anna, and Robin are dead. I don't give a damn about Damon's threats. As soon as I've spoken to Anna, Damon won't get anywhere near her or Robin. I better go. I couldn't reach Angus. Three of us are going to have to decide what to do. There's only one thing we can do. Pack up and pull out. Oh, and have the organization after us as well as the police? No, no, no. No, I think that, uh, I think we don't make a move without Angus is okay. What, do we sit around here and wait for the noose to tighten around our neck? We haven't been implicated in anything yet. It's only a matter of time, Damon. Listen, Angel is going to convince Duke to keep his mouth shut. And if he doesn't, if Duke talks to Anna and Scorpio? We'll worry about that if it happens. Yeah, late as usual. And it's your fault again. Oh, right. Duke shoots Mr. B, and that's my fault. You drove him to it. If you hadn't bombed Devane's house, he wouldn't have turned on us. Damon, you have made one mistake too many, and we're all paying for it. You two knock it off. 
This is not the time for us to be fighting amongst ourselves. We have got to stick together. And do what? Protect our flanks. Now, the first thing I think we have to do is get in touch with Sister Island. That's true. We can't afford having any more Hendersons come through Port Charles until the heat lets up. Yeah, if it does let up. I'll get in touch with the big boys and let them know what's happened. I've got a feeling they're, they're going to want to hold off on everything for a while. I don't think this is the right time to be moving cargo, human or otherwise. What about us? Well, we'll lay low for a while. <laughs> you know, I'd feel a lot better if we could reach Angus. So would I. You know, it's funny, his labor he was always his favorite. <laughs> Not anymore. When Duke betrayed the organization, he betrayed Angus. And Angus can get to him in jail. Sit down. Does he have to be here? I'm asking questions. Do you uh, want me to handle this? No, thank you. It's my job. How's Ramsey? Why? Frightened he might live? I never intended to shoot him. Gun just went off in your hand. It was an accident. How did you accidentally get hold of Bert's gun? He pulled it on me. I was only trying to defend myself. He wouldn't have drawn unless he had a reason. Now, what did he have on you? It's not what he had on me. It's oh, what I know. He did have something on you. Tried to make an arrest, so you shot him. Isn't that what happened? No. Anna, please. Chief Devane, thank you. Or will you let it tell? Or will you let me tell it my way? I'm warning you. Don't try and use our past relationship to your advantage. Because you killed whatever we might have had as surely as you tried to murder Bert Ramsey. I am no killer, and you of all people should know I that. I was the last person to see through you. But I finally came to my senses. Now, this is a police matter. And I promise you, anything you say will be used against you. I'm going to tell you the truth. Well, if you do, it'll be for the first time. You said that I couldn't be a cop and a woman. Well, I can be anything I damn well choose. And from now on in, I'm a cop. If you will only oh, give just me say five... It. Answer the questions. Will you let me tell it my way? We've got all night. You're not going anywhere. Why did you shoot Bert Ramsey? Yeah, I know I'm not going anywhere. That's exactly what I'm trying to tell you. It's not the way it looks. What I am trying to tell you and you don't realize is Bert Ramsey... Look, we was... know all about Bert Ramsey. You are the mystery here, pal. Now, I want your story, and I want all of it. Because if I don't get it, I'm going to get it one way or another. So, that was the scheme. Port Charles seemed to be the perfect location to launder money. It had a harbor. Not too big, not too small. It also had a dock workers' union, which we thought would be easy to infiltrate. That's why you ran for president. So you could control the unions and bring the money in that way, right? Yes, the mob forced me to get them a loan from the union pension plan. I have already repaid that loan from laundered cash. The mob don't know about that little maneuver, not yet anyway. So, you guys had quite an operation going. Yes, and you were in it up to your neck. I never intended to be. Someone twisted your arm? No, I let them do me a small favor once. You figured they'd never ask you to pay it back. I was young and I was very naive. And stupid. I thought I could handle them. Please. I was in it way up over my head by the time I realized it was too late. Please don't ask for sympathy. Oh, I am way past that, believe me. What I'm looking to do now is get this whole thing off my chest. All that is left for me is to protect the people that I love.